welcome to story time for two and three year olds. My name is Susan Cousell. I'm the Temple Road of Shalom librarian and I am so happy to see you here today. Uh, well, I can't wait to get started. And if you've got your hands with you, you can start with me. You ready? Okay, hands go up and hands go down i can turn them round and round i can stamp both my shoes i can listen so can you i can sit i'll show you how story time is starting now okay well it's almost the holiday of Passover. So we're gonna read this book called Dinosaur on Passover by Diane Rauschberger. Ready? Dinosaur on Passover. There's a dino knocking at my door cause Passover is near. He wants to sweep the hummocks out. He's in the way I fear. He grates a chunk of horseradish, cries buckets full of tears. When I tell him how the Hebrew slave for Pharaoh all those years. We want to start the Seder but Dino can't be found. He's in the pantry juggling matzah all around. He helps me sing the questions. He knows there are four. Tonight, why is there matzah and bitter herbs we call maror? Why do we dip our veggies twice and why do we recline? And Dino also wants to know when he can drink his wine or grape juice. We drink grape juice. When Dino hears how Moses begged to let my people go, he stomps his feet like Pharaoh yelling, no, 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 no. We tell how Pharaoh suffered. God was angry as can be. Sending hail and darkness, frogs and bugs, till Pharaoh said, go free. Dino munches on the matzah, dips his pinky in the cup, lets drops of wine fall everywhere, and tries to wipe them up. He searches for the afikoman, the books by left and right, I have to help him find it so it doesn't take all night. He runs to open up the door to see Elijah there. But when the neighbor's dog runs in, it gives us quite a scare. Before the satyr's over, dino's, dino's curled up in a heap. Will have to end without him cause he's fallen fast asleep. All right. Fallen fast asleep. Oh, don't do that. Okay. I have with me, I brought a cedar plate. Oh, see, there it is. Can you see it? Okay. All right. Here is a Seder plate, which looks brand new. It has six symbols, which I'll now show to you. All right, this is to the tune of London Bridge. Let us build a Seder plate, Seder plate, Seder plate. Let us build a Seder plate. It's time to celebrate. Okay, here's my Hiroshi. Put a rotsi on the plate, on the plate, on the plate. Put a rotsi on the plate, it's time to celebrate. All right, I've got a shank bone. 
Put the shank bone on the plate, on the plate, on the plate. Put the shank bone on the plate. It's time to celebrate. And my bitter herbs. Also, Maror. Put Maror on the plate, on the plate, on the plate. Put Maror on the plate. It's time to celebrate. Put the, here's my parsley. Oh, whoa, there's my parsley. Here you go. Put the parsley on the plate, on the plate, on the plate. Put the parsley on the plate. It's time to celebrate. And lettuce, you know, not everybody uses lettuce, but this one does. So we'll, we'll sing all about it. Put the lettuce on the plate, on the plate, on the plate. Put the lettuce on the plate because it's time to celebrate. And oh, we've got an egg. Put an egg on the plate, on the plate, on the plate. Put an egg on the plate. It's time to celebrate. All right. Now we have our Seder plate, Seder plate, Seder plate. Now we have our Seder plate and we can celebrate. Okay. Let's see. This book is called Peach, Peach, Pear, Plum by Janet and Alan Allberg. And it's a bit of a seek and find book, but don't worry if you can't find it because You'll be able to find it on the page after. You'll see what I mean. Okay, let's start. Each peach, pear, plum. In this little book, in this book with your little eye, take a look and play I spy. Each peach, pear, plum. Each peach, pear, plum, I spy Tom Thumb. Tom Thumb in the cupboard, I spy Mother Hubbard. Can you find Mother Hubbard? All right. But see now in this next picture, you see there she is. That's why I said, don't worry if you can't find it right away. Mother Hubbard, down the cellar, I spy Cinderella. Cinderella on the stairs, I spy the three bears. Three bears out hunting, I spy baby bunting. Baby bunting fast asleep, I spy Bo Peep. Bo Peep up the hill, I spy Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill in the ditch, I spy the Wicked Witch. Wicked Witch over the wood, I spy Robin Hood. Robin Wood is in his den. I spy the bears again.
three bears still hunting, they spy baby bunting. Baby bunting safe and dry, I spy plum pie. Plum pie in the sun, I spy. Everyone. Okay. Oh, that was fun. That was so much fun. Okay, now. Move this around a little bit so you can see. Here we go. All right, there. Okay, now you should be able to see my screen. This is a flannel board, and I have I have these five green and speckled frogs that came to join me at story time today. Let's count them. One two, three, four, and five. And I think we should definitely sing about them. Ready? Five green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled bug eating a most delicious bug. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are Four green speckled frogs. Okay. Four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled dog eating a most delicious bug. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three green speckled frogs. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled dog eating a most delicious bug. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled dog eating a most delicious bug. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled dog eating a most delicious bug. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. But let's put those frogs back up on my log. One, two, three, four, five frogs on my log. Okay, I'm gonna take that nice pool away and try something else with my frogs. Okay, so we're gonna imagine that this is Pharaoh. I'm gonna take that log away too. We don't need that log, all right. So if we imagine that this is Pharaoh, it's not, he's not very Egyptian looking right now, but use your imagination. And this is his bed. We'll move that there and we'll move that there. Okay, ready? Okay. And five little frogs went out one night and gave the Pharaoh, quite a fright. The first one said, I'll jump on his bed. The second one said, I'll jump on his head. You see his head? Head. The third one said, I'll jump on his toes. The fourth one said, I'll jump on his nose. The fifth one said, I'll jump on his face. 
and we can jump all over the place. Wow, that's a lot of frogs. Okay, let's take them off again. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, that was fun playing with my frogs. Okay. Okay, all right, here I am again. And now we're gonna wrap up the story time. Before we do, I just wanna thank you so much for coming and um, thanks for joining me for story time this week. And as I said, I'm Susan Cousell. I'm the Temple Road of Shalom librarian. If I can help you with any book related or reading problem or anything you wanna talk about uh, with books, reading in the library at all, I'm more, more than happy to help you. I am S-K-U-S-E-L, S-K-U-S-E-L, at uh, the full, at templerodeshalom.org. Um, just please, whatever I can do, I'd be delighted. Um, but it just always makes me so happy to be doing this, and I hope you are all well. Wishing you the best. So, let's get our hands back up. Ready? Hands go up and hands go down. I can turn them round and round. I can stamp both my shoes. I can clap and so can you. I can wave, I'll show you how. Story time is done for now. All right, thanks for coming. We'll do this again next Wednesday. Um, and I hope to see you then. Bye-bye.